A hearing was scheduled today to determine the competency of a man accused of killing two people in a UCCS dorm room back in February. We've learned that an expert hired by the DA's office has an opinion that counters one provided by the state hospital, which declared Nicholas Jordan incompetent to stand trial. Bill Folsom was in court today. He joins us now with details. Bill. Yeah, Andy, the next step in this case is a competency hearing. The judge will listen to one expert saying Jordan is not competent to stand trial and the other countering that argument. A status hearing with Nicholas Jordan present but remaining silent revealed that the defense and prosecution have contradicting opinions from experts on his competency to stand trial. It's important to note determining competency is different than a plea of not guilty by insanity. There's not guilty by reason of insanity, um, but that is a defense essentially to a crime. Competency is trying to get somebody to the point where uh, there can be productive negotiations or trial or hearings. Nicholas Jordan is accused of shooting and killing his UCCS roommate and another woman who was in the room. Police reports say he had a handgun and loaded AK-47 when he was found and taken into custody several days later. In earlier court action, the defense said mental health pros at the state hospital determined he is incompetent to stand trial. The prosecution argued to get a second opinion. It's very uncommon for the prosecution to get a second um, competency evaluation. Jeremy Lowe is an experienced defense attorney offering some insight. He said questions of incompetency raise the odds of an appeal if there's a guilty verdict. That would essentially give rise to appellate grounds where the defendant can go in and say, or the defendant's appellate attorney can say, he was never even competent to proceed and have to bring everybody back to do another trial. According to Colorado statute, in this case, the burden of proof for incompetency is on the defense. Judge David Shakes will hear the two sides and determine the question of competency. If the defendant is found incompetent, all the proceedings are stayed essentially, meaning they don't proceed forward until he is restored back to competency. And August 16th is the date set for that competency hearing. Andy?